Let me show you how to make an aromatherapy candle that helps you sleep better. This video is sponsored by my ebook on candle making. More at the end of this video. Here are the things you need. You need a scale, you need some wicks, glue tabs, you need wax, of course. Here I'm using wax pellets. You need a container to put it in. I'm using an old candle container that I literally just cleaned out. I'm also using some essential oils. Here I'm using lavender, frankincense, and sweet orange because they aid relaxation and sleep. Fragrance oils are different from essential oils. Essential oils are gotten from plants through steam distillation, but fragrance oils are created in the lab with byproducts of petroleum. This is why you can call candles made with essential oils aromatherapy candles because they literally have the ability to heal and alter your mood because they are the spirit of the plant. When you drop them like on the table or something like I'm doing here, they literally look the same, but fundamentally they're different. I weigh all the different portions of the essential oil. Just read the description for the amounts that I used. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. Now measure out the wax and let it melt. Whilst you're waiting for it to melt, you want to stick the wick. Based on the size of this container, I chose two wicks because I wanted to melt all the way to the edges. In my ebook, I also share a lot more on this. So you may be wondering why I'm rubbing at the end of the week. It's alcohol. Um, sometimes the wick sustainers have oil or wax on them and prevent them from sticking properly, which is why I use alcohol, but you don't really have to do it. I insert it into a pen case to make it easier to press down. I press firmly with my hands as well. And I also use the wick centering device to center the wick. Here you can also use pegs if that's what you have. Now check on your wax. You don't want it to be too hot. Measure the temperature. It should be well over 65 degrees by now, maybe around 80 degrees. 65 degrees is the perfect pouring temperature for this particular type of wax. So I'll take it off the heat and let it cool to almost 65 degrees. And I mean 65 degrees Celsius. And then it's time to pour the essential oil. You don't want to pour the essential oil too early or before 65 degrees because that could evaporate the essential oil for this specific type of wax. Now mix thoroughly with a whisk or a spoon and pour in the corner gently to prevent like air bubbles. Now you might be wondering why I didn't make so much or uh, why this candle wax doesn't go all the way up to the top. I have left room for the lid which is actually pretty deep. When I pour the wax, you can see the bubbles, so you can poke that or whatever you want to do and you want to set it and just leave it to set. Once it sets firmly, remove the wick centering device or your pegs or whatever you've used and you want to trim your wick to a quarter of an inch. <laughs> Mine is a little too long here, but quarter of an inch is the perfect amount of wick you want to have at the top of your wax. Now, if you really enjoyed this video, I want to invite you to learn more about candle making through my ebook, which covers literally everything that you need to know about candle making. This is everything I hope to learn at the start of my journey into candle making, but couldn't learn. I didn't have people to teach me these things. So this is exactly what I'm teaching you in this really affordable ebook. It covers types of wicks, how to measure wax, how to mix fragrances, literally everything you know. You don't need to guess anymore. You will literally make a consistently strong smelling candle every single time. Click the link in the description for all the information you need and all the information you need to make this candle as well. Love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe as well.